That brings us back to the Home tab. So now I want to talk about the Home tab in more detail. All of the coursework for Art 1200 has been developed via the Home tab, and right now you see it as a series of modules, but sometimes it might end up being a visual home page. It depends on how your instructor wants to break down the course. Modules are just an easy way for us to create expandable chunks of information. And I like the modules because I have everything due basically once a week. And so I'll say during week one, I want you to work on module one. And, and week two, I want you to work on module two. And week three and four, I want you to work on module three, etc. cetera. Um, don't write those dates down because they change every semester. So for the first week of the semester, I put everything that I want you to do inside of module one. And so you have to... Um, you have to read the Getting Started page, which is where these videos are housed. So if you're, if you're viewing this video, you've probably already been to that page. Then there's a note that says read the syllabus, and it's kind of pointing to the left because you have to click on the little tab. There is a page on course materials, text, and software, which will explain what's required for the class and what you need to purchase, and hopefully you don't really have to purchase anything. Uh, there's a semester schedule at a glance page. I am a list maker. I like to make lists. I like to cross things off of them, and so I would recommend printing that semester schedule and then literally crossing things off as we go. Um, we're back to the welcome to art 1280 videos. There's also some other Adobe videos. So, so far all these activities have just been things that I would like you to do. Then when we start seeing dates, so this, uh, this numbered activity 01.1 initial response, 1.2 profile picture, 1.3 introduce yourself to the class, and 1.4 syllabus quiz, um, they're, they're different than the other activities in two ways. One, they're numbered and anything that requires a, a, a submission that is going to be graded, I've numbered so you can kind of look at the module and identify things that you need to do um, versus things that you need to do because they're going to affect your grade, if that makes sense. And then also anything with a date under it means there's a submission and it will tell you how much it's worth, 10 points, 5 points, 10 points, and 9 points. And so you need to complete the things on the top half of the module because they allow you to finish the activities that require submissions. But if you're trying to make a checklist of things that you did to make sure you don't miss something that might affect your grade, you can always look for the numbered things. All the numbered things um, require submissions. In addition to that, um, if you go to the syllabus tab and you scroll all the way to the bottom of the syllabus, it combines a calendar of the class. I would caution you not to just use this calendar because the calendar only shows things that are due. It does not show the things that you need to do in order to successfully complete these. For example, uh, on September 2nd, 2017, at the time that I'm recording this video, Assignment 1, Printing, Packaging, and Exporting is due. If you don't watch the lecture and you don't know what InDesign is or you've never used InDesign before, you literally will not be able to complete that activity. It will be like speaking a foreign language. But if you watch the lecture, it should make perfect sense and it should be very skills-based and it should be easy for you to complete. So keep that in mind. Uh, while I'm going on my little tangent about always using the home page to navigate the coursework and always work from the top to the bottom, um, I want to talk about this to-do and this coming up feed on the right-hand side. This again helps you make sure you don't miss something that's due that's going to affect your grade, but it only shows things with due dates. And so it's just like the syllabus, it's going to say you have to turn these activities in, but it's not going to note that you need to do these activities first in order to successfully finish the ones that are due. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, obviously email me or your instructor and I'm happy to, to explain that in more detail.